Are you ready to witness one of nature's most spectacular displays? Join us on Tech Nation as we take you on a journey to the far north to witness the mesmerizing dance of the Aurora Borealis. The Northern Lights are a phenomenon that has captivated humans for centuries and we're bringing you front and center to experience it all. Get ready for a visual feast as we explore the science behind this natural wonder and show you the best places to see it. Stay till the very end as we will reveal some of the most interesting myths and conspiracy theories about Northern Lights. The Northern Lights, also known as the Aurora Borealis, are natural light displays in the Earth's sky, predominantly seen in the high-latitude regions around the Arctic and Antarctic. They are caused by the collision of charged particles in the Earth's atmosphere with gases such as oxygen and nitrogen. These charged particles come from the Sun in the form of solar wind. When they enter the Earth's atmosphere, they collide with gases such as oxygen and nitrogen. These collisions cause the gases to emit light, which is what we see as the aurora. The color of the lights is determined by the type of gas that is emitting the light. For example, oxygen is responsible for the yellow, green and red lights, while nitrogen produces blue and purple lights. The auroras are seen around the magnetic poles of the Earth. This is because the solar wind flows into the Earth's atmosphere at the poles, where the Earth's magnetic field is strongest. The charged particles are directed towards the Earth's poles by the magnetic field, where they collide with the gases in the atmosphere, resulting in the northern lights. It should be noted that the northern lights are not only visible in the Earth's northern hemisphere, but also in the southern hemisphere. They are called aurora australis. Some interesting facts about northern lights. The northern lights can be seen from space. The aurora borealis is so bright that it can be seen from space by astronauts on the International Space Station. The northern lights are not just limited to polar regions. While the aurora borealis is most commonly seen in the polar regions, it can also be observed at lower latitudes, under certain conditions. Northern lights have different shapes and forms. The aurora borealis can take on many different shapes and forms, such as curtains, arcs, and even spirals. The northern lights are not always green. The most common color associated with the aurora borealis is green, but it can also appear red, yellow, blue, purple, and even pink. The northern lights are not just in the night time. While the aurora borealis is most commonly seen at night, it can also be observed during the day, especially during a solar storm. The northern lights have a sound. Some people who live near the auroral zone have reported hearing a hissing, crackling or rustling sound when the lights are active, which is caused by the collision of particles in the atmosphere. The northern lights can be predicted. With the help of space weather forecasts and monitoring of solar activity, it is possible to predict when and where the aurora borealis will be visible, to some extent. Future of Northern Lights The Northern Lights, or aurora borealis, can be seen in many countries that are located in the high-latitude regions, such as Norway, Sweden, Finland, Canada, Alaska, and Iceland. They can also be seen in other countries such as Scotland, Russia, and Greenland. As for the future of the Northern Lights, it is important to note that the aurora borealis is a natural phenomenon caused by solar activity. The intensity and frequency of the northern lights is dependent on the sun's 11-year solar cycle, during which solar activity waxes and wanes. At the solar maximum, solar activity is at its highest, and this leads to more frequent and intense auroral displays. At the solar minimum, solar activity is at its lowest, and this leads to fewer and less intense auroral displays. Currently, we are in a solar minimum, which means that auroral displays are less frequent and less intense than during a solar maximum. However, this does not mean that the northern lights will disappear altogether during a solar minimum. They can still be seen, but they may be less frequent and less intense than during a solar maximum. It's also worth noting that as long as the sun continues to be active and there is a relatively stable magnetic field on Earth, the aurora borealis will continue to be a natural phenomenon that we can observe. Now we will talk about myths and conspiracy theories that are associated with northern lights. The northern lights are a sign of the end times. Many ancient cultures believed that the aurora borealis was a sign of impending doom or the end of the world. The northern lights are caused by ghosts or spirits. Some cultures believe that the aurora borealis is caused by the spirits of the dead or other supernatural entities. The northern lights are caused by UFO activity. Some conspiracy theories suggest that the aurora borealis is caused by alien spacecraft or other unidentified flying objects. The northern lights are a government conspiracy. Some conspiracy theories suggest that the aurora borealis is a man-made phenomenon created by government agencies for secret purposes. The northern lights are a sign of a coming magnetic pole shift. Some people believe that the aurora borealis is a sign of an impending magnetic pole shift, 
which would have significant consequences for the Earth's inhabitants. It's important to note that these are just myths and conspiracy theories and none of them have any scientific evidence to support them. The Northern Lights are a natural phenomenon caused by the collision of charged particles from the Sun with the Earth's atmosphere. Thanks for joining us on this journey to discover the beauty and mystery of the Northern Lights. We hope you learned something new about this incredible natural phenomenon. From its scientific origins to the myths and conspiracy theories surrounding it, the Northern Lights continue to fascinate us all. Remember that the best way to see the Northern Lights is to head to the high latitude regions during the solar maximum, but even during the solar minimum, you can still catch a glimpse of the aurora borealis if you're lucky. And remember, the Northern Lights are not just limited to polar regions, they can also be observed at lower latitudes under certain conditions. Don't forget to tune in to our channel for more exciting and informative videos on the world of science and technology. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.